The Institute is a place that brings together a number of independent groups and puts them in an environment which is conducive to collaboration. And the unusual feature of this institute is that it brings together those research groups from people that are in the Faculty of Health Sciences as well as the Faculty of Science. So it's an unusual structure in as much as it is trans-faculty at UCT. And it's getting those people who has traditionally worked in the lab, in the clinic, in the populations, getting them together to work together to allow drug discovery to be conducted in an integrated manner because it requires multiple disciplines which are very well represented within IDM. Recognizing the strengths of having laboratories, community and clinical expertise in one building. And I think the richness of that makes us unique and certainly almost gives us a responsibility to exploit that to the fullest. We're situated in the epicenter of the HIV TB co-epidemic. We're in a place where we can ideally address that huge problem. One of the most sustainable interventions would be to develop a new and better vaccine to prevent tuberculosis. And we cannot do it on our own. We have to be in a home where there are many other quality researchers, um, uh, academics with which we can interact. Um, and the IDM is the ideal home for such an endeavor. One of our goals is to train in Africa for Africa. Capacity development is a major goal of this institute and we have implemented over the last five or six years three specific initiatives that are aimed at increasing the flow of students both in the basic sciences and in the clinical track from master's PhD or medical qualification right the way up through to early career uh, investigators. Training the next generation of African scientists is really important. I'm one of them and I'm training other younger students to become scientists and our focus here is not just on the science but also on the scientists. 